So today follow along and learn how to make yourself a minimal logo design in Adobe Illustrator. So first and foremost, make sure that you have the stroke selected in the color palette with no fill. And also it's going to help if you have the nudge increment settings very low for this tutorial. Now this means that when you press the arrow keys on your keyboard to move an object, it's not going to move too much from left to right. Now press L for the ellipse tool and hold down shift and click and drag to make a perfect circle. You're going to want to follow along today carefully so you can finish off with a neat and a tidy minimal logo design. Now I've increased the stroke weight. And I'm going to press C for the scissors tool because we want to click the middle right anchor point and also the lower one too, which means we can then press V for the selection tool and click the 90 degree section of the circle before deleting it. To delete it, just press backspace on your keyboard. Now I saw this logo online and I thought it'd be a great tutorial for you guys. But the logo I saw didn't have rounded off lines and I actually prefer the rounded off stroke feel. And to achieve that, just go into the stroke window and use the round cap function. So finally for this part of the design, we're going to rotate the shape by 315 degrees to make sure that it's level. So now press P for the pen tool and click one side of your circle because we're going to continue the path downward by 45 degrees and to do that we need to hold down shift to make sure the angle is 45 degrees. This is a crucial step to remember and we need to be precise. So do the same for the other side and if you haven't activated the smart guides by pressing command or control U on your keyboard, you're going to need to do that so you know when the lower anchor point is in line with the other one. The magenta smart guides tell us that. Now that's the first step in today's video, but stay tuned to finish off your minimal logo design because there are a few more crucial and specific steps that we need to take. Again, press C for the scissors tool and cut the circle here. Now press Command or Control C to copy it and then press Command or Control F to paste a duplicate right over the top. Now you're going to want to rescale the circle down and make sure that you have the scale stroke settings switched off in the preference settings and you can find that under the general settings. Hold down the alt option key and then click and drag to duplicate the shape. We need to rotate it by 90 degrees to make sure it lines up with the stroke properly. Then drop it in place and this might take some adjusting and you can actually redraw the line stroke to meet the anchor point properly. Click the new circle and line whilst holding down shift and then duplicate it with the Alt Option key once more. Move and reposition into place and then make sure it's absolutely perfect in place. You can press A for the direct selection tool and move this anchor point also perfectly in place. Now don't get lazy by thinking it's actually in position. Zoom in and make sure it is in position for a crisp and a precise logo design. So now it's just a case of duplicating this section and then reflecting it with the transform function. You will need to do this for this part of the minimal logo and then also for the bottom arm and circle too. So once you're ready, you're now able to finish off the logo with the final step of the actual design itself. But make sure to like and share this video on social media if you found it useful and minimal logo design in minimal time and stay tuned to finish off the logo and to add some colour properly. Now select and duplicate the smaller arm and then rotate it by 315 degrees. This is going to be the downward and central part of the logo. And then make a mirror reflection one last time. You're going to want to align everything to make sure this part of the logo is in line properly and the smart guides will help with that. 
Now I feel that the bottom arms are too long and extended. And to make sure the circles don't become distorted when changing the size, we can actually select them only with the direct selection tool and then nudge them upwards. Now I actually changed my nudge increment settings for this part because it would take too long if the settings were too small. So finally, you can change the stroke of your design to be thicker or thinner and then go up to object and expand. This will turn your design into a vector shape and you can then add color to your design from here. So there is today's minimal logo design and make sure if you want to keep learning crucial skills for graphic design, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. Also make sure to have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace.